joining me now is a woman who literally needs absolutely no introduction. She's one of my absolute favorite people. We have Hannah Ferrier here from Below Deck Med. How you doing, Hannah? I'm good, Darren. How are you? Well, welcome back to Reality Check. I'm good. It's good to see your face again. We always love having you on. How are you doing? How is pregnancy going? And what is life looking like these days for you in Australia? It's good. Every, how many questions can you ask me at once? What do you want me to answer? Well, first off, how's pregnancy going, Hannah? It's good. She's getting so big. Do you want to see her? Yeah, obviously. Let's see. Let, ooh, oh, yes. She is looking very nice. She is. She is. She's co cooking nicely. How many epaulets does she have right now? Does she have a few or no? <laughs> None. <laughs> <laughs> if she wants to get into the yachting world, are you going to recommend it or steer her away from it? That's what I want to know. It really depends on her character. If she's like very strong and she knows how to say no and she can, she's got a good head on her shoulders, um, I'm probably going to be okay with it. But if she can be kind of... Um, you know, I don't want her to get broken by it because you have to be quite strong in the industry, so. Don't I know it. Well, recently you posted some photos on Instagram of your gorgeous baby shower. I've never been so jealous or wanting to go to a baby shower <laughs> as much as from your Instagram. How excited are you to be a mom? Oh, I'm so excited. It's getting so real now. Like I literally, I, um, Josh and I were talking about diaper bins the other day and I started crying just from like <laughs> the emotion of being so excited. So oh, I'm so excited for you. We need a little farrier going around. Yeah, I, I actually haven't told anyone this, but I've had um, like six or seven surgeries on my um, ovaries and reproductive system since I was 13. So I never thought this was like an option for me naturally. Um, so to me, it was like such a, an amazing and beautiful surprise and I just feel so blessed because you know it's not something that like you know is nice to think about but I'd kind of come to peace with it um, so it was such a beautiful surprise and I just feel so lucky and not only that you announced you're having a baby girl which is arguably the better better sex I will say that <laughs> but you know just asking for me I'm just saying you know, and I want to say the last time you were on Reality Check, I, I called it that you were having a baby girl. Mm -hmm. I just, I got this sense in me. You know, did you have a feeling it was going to be a girl the whole time? Like, do you have kind of this sixth sense for it? Or were you just as surprised uh, when you found out? No, so I actually found out at 12 weeks. So I'm 34 now. So I've known a long time. Um, wow. So I think that it was kind of hard because I really, really, really wanted a girl. I would have been happy with either. But um, so I didn't know whether it was like instinct or just like wishing, you know. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, so, you know um, what? You put it into the fate of the gods and they delivered a baby girl to you. And we're so excited to yeah. see her coming soon. But Hannah, you know I have to get into Below Deck Mediterranean because this season, oh, I know, I know you're familiar with the show. It's been crazy. There just seems to me so many change-ups in the cast, but this is the mm. first time I'm having you on since not being on the show anymore. How did it feel for you when you finally left the boat? Did you breathe a sigh of relief or were you pissed? I think, honestly, it was just so surreal. Like, I don't think it had, I don't think it really sunk in. Because there's, you know, there's obviously the element that you're, you've been let go from the boat, but then there's also the element that, you know, like I've worked with, with Bravo for five years and with the production company for five years. And there's other people that you have relationships with and things like that. So it's just very shocking. And then there's, of course, like for how, you know, for what I was let go for, then there's a lot of fear around that as well, just like about like disappointing your family and friends and like that sort of thing. So I think I was in shock for the first kind of 24 hours. Well, I mean, that, that makes sense. I mean, anytime a big life change happens, you know, shock is probably going to be the first reaction that happens. But so many exciting things are happening for you now outside of the show. Now, looking back, are you sort of relieved and, and excited to move on to this next chapter? Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, if it was any season to, to leave, it was going to be that one. 
I was very, I was really of two minds as to whether to go back and do that season because I'd been with Josh for a year and I was very settled in Sydney and I wasn't working on boats anymore. So it was, you know, it was a tough decision in the first place. And um, I think you can kind of see it this season, you know, I had no interest in going out and getting wasted with everyone. And I, I was kind of showing up going, I just want to do my job and get my money and go home to my partner and my dog. And, you know, like there was nothing, there wasn't the fun, enjoyable side of it for me anymore. So, um, yeah, I think I was, I was definitely ready to retire. <laughs> Well, were you happy to no longer be long distance with Josh? I mean, not having to leave for X amount of weeks a year, I'm sure was very helpful to your relationship. And now that you're pregnant, I'm sure even better. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Well, that's the, I know it sounds horrible, but that's like the, you know, the COVID and the lockdown and stuff has actually been really good for me because, you know, normally I'd be traveling back and forth for commitments with the show and, this has just made me go like, no, stop. And then it's given me some time to reflect about what I want to do moving forward. So, um, you know, obviously it's devastating what's going on in the world. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, for, for myself, it was, it was nice to stop and reflect, you know? 